The first boss you're going to encounter in Pal World is Zoe and Gristbolt. Now, you're going to need a couple items to make your life easier and make sure you take them out fast. Today, I want to provide you with two methods that are going to have you melt this boss in less than a minute or in three minutes. So if you like how that sounds, let's go ahead and dive in and talk about how to defeat the first boss in Pal World. Okay, so like I mentioned, I'm going to give you two methods of actually being able to get this done really, really quick. Now, the first method is going to be primarily uh, being able to take him out within a relatively fast time, which is under two minutes. And the other method is how to take him out within under a minute. I'm going to give you the pals that I recommend you bring in here. We're going to talk a little bit about what he's vulnerable to and dive into all that. So with that being said, let's take a look at Grizz. So Grizz, guys, has three different sets of attacks he's going to do to you. He has Lightning Claw, and that means he's able to rush towards you and hit you with his claws. He has Shockwave. This is a wave that he shoots out, and it automatically goes, goes ahead and produces a static field in front of you. And he has Lightning Strike, and this is a little radius blast that he does that throws lightning at you. So right off the bat, we know his main thing is electricity. So we want to find out what we could use to make this pretty much this fight a lot easier. So if you guys already know, in the game... There are different elements that are going to be better against certain bosses than other ones. All right, so now that you know that he is an electrical boss, one thing I would recommend, and this is going to be helpful for every boss that you find in the game, and I'll have guides for each boss, but the best thing you could do, guys, is go to options, and then once you're in options, go to survival guides, and go all the way where it says elements, and under the element section, you're going to notice that this is going to tell you exactly what someone is good for against whatever element they have so for here we know he's electricity so we know ground is going to do really good against electricity so you also know that you don't want to bring in a character that does water because electricity trumps water so you just want to have stuff that does really really well against electricity now this is going to be also pretty good to knowing what other additional characters you could bring in here so Let's talk about a couple characters that I would recommend you bring in here. And then I'm going to share with you guys the ones I brought in here to bring them under two minutes. And then I'm going to share with you guys what I did to bring them in under, under one minute. So, if we go to my pal deck here. And we look for this guy right here. You find him pretty early in the game. And this is going to be right here. He is called Rush Whore. And he in particular comes with some really good stats. Like if you're able to get this right here and we preview him, you're going to notice that he has the Stone Blast, which is a ground effect. And it has a cooldown timer of 10 seconds. And then he also does the Sand Blast, which has a cooldown of 4 seconds. And it comes with pretty good power, 55 and 40. So he's going to be putting in a lot of work. And this is kind of like a character you want to bring in here because he will help you out a lot against his boss. But when I first fought him, and then when I fought him in the end, I did not use these characters. Okay, so now let me share with you guys the pals I personally used my first time around. And I was able to kill it with under two minutes. So what we did here, guys, is we go into our pal deck. And we go here. Uh, the pal that I used is this one right here, known as Daydream. Now, this one in particular is not going to be a pal that you're going to be using to fight. You're just going to use to be, you're just going to use them. So you could use his partner skill. Now his partner skill allows you allows you to have an additional pal next to you doing damage while you have a pal that's summoned. For example, you see right guys, I have this pal right here. But if I wanted to bring out another pal, I could. So I have two pals working for me at the same time. Okay? And the way you go ahead and activate that once you capture that pal, I'll show you guys the location of where to capture him. You're going to need to go and get this one, which is a necklace that's going to allow you to have them right next to you. Really, really good pal to have, especially right next to you. All right, so let me find him real quick in the pal deck. He's right here. I'm going to show you guys exactly where he's at. And as you guys see right here, it has no data. But I'm going to tell you guys where I actually found him. So if I pull up my map here, there is a dungeon that spawns right next to this area right here. Uh, right in this area. Okay, so this area right here. Let me actually mark it in the map for you guys. And that way you guys know where it's at, uh, right there. So there is a dungeon right there. And if it's not here, okay, if it's not here, then you're going to find the dungeon back here, all right? So it's either going to be right here uh, or right here. And that dungeon is going to have them, uh, they're going to be inside that dungeon. I believe this is a level 13 dungeon, so I recommend you guys be level 13 or 14. Now the other pal we used is called Pink King. Now Pink King is actually a boss you're able to pick up from the world. And he just has ice elements. The reason why I feel this is really good, you know, don't mind that don't don't worry about that he has water elements. 
the main thing we're using him is mostly for the ice because he's able to freeze him in place and that's going to allow you to get in shots to be able to do a lot of damage on Grisbolt. Now, one tip I want to give you when he gets frozen, make sure you do not aim for Grisbolt. You actually aim and shoot Zoe because when you shoot Zoe, it does way more damage. He's a really good one to have next to you because he's going to allow you to He's going to be able to freeze him and he's going to be able to keep his distance from Grisbolt, which likes to shard in melee, and he's going to be able to counter that back and forth. So what you want to do is grab yourselves a Pink King, grab yourselves a uh, Daydreamer, and then grab yourself a uh, one of these little dudes, which is the Hog, and then you guys should be able to get this done really, really fast. Now, if for some reason you can't get a Hog, then you're probably going to want to grab yourselves a uh, Lift Monk, which has an uh, SMGs, He's going to be able to hop on you and start shooting him. So let me show you guys where to get Pinking now. Pinking's going to be a little bit further away from the spawn point because the spawn point's right here. King Ping is located a little bit further out, like in this red area right here. Uh, this is where you're going to be able to get him. Now, he's going to be a level 15 boss, but I actually killed him at level 12. So it doesn't... I, I killed him and I captured him at level 12, okay? I used a couple uh, blue spheres, but I still was able to capture him. So you're going to want to make sure you get him. And then once you grab him, uh, you should be able to do this fight as long as you have those two characters. Uh, Daydream and this guy, that, that should get the job done without a problem. And that is how you kill him at a very fast rate. All right, so for the other method to kill him in under uh, a minute, you're going to want to need a handgun. And in order for you guys to get a handgun, you're definitely going to want to check out my video how to get a handgun early. And once you have that handgun in your possession, you're going to need to get bullets. And, you know, of course, in that video where I talk about how to get a handgun, I tell you guys how to get bullets. But once you have that in your inventory, it's just a matter of picking the right pal that it does really good uh, damage against him. Now, there's two pals that I found really good when I was playing the game uh, that do really good damage against him. And that is the ones I kind of already have within my inventory. So you're going to want to use him, which is uh, King Ping. Or you could definitely use him, which is going to be really, really crucial because he does fire damage. And if you don't have him, the Van Rum, you're going to want to make sure you use Ping King. Ping King is amazing for that. Or you could use anybody that does really good damage against, uh, you know, against ground. And you're taking him out. Usually your gun's going to be able to melt him really fast. And that's how you could kill him in under 30 seconds. I hope you found this guide helpful. And it helps you kill Zoe and Grisbolt. If you have any problems killing him, don't be afraid to ask the questions down below. I'll be more than happy to answer those questions for you guys. And if you guys want to see more boss guides like this one, make sure you guys let me know what boss you're having trouble with or which ones you want to see next so we could put that video together now talking about videos you're definitely going to want to check out this video on how to level up fast because you want to level up as quickly as you possibly can to take care of the other bosses that are going to appear in the world i hope you find our guides helpful and informative if you did do the huge favor guys drop a like drop a comment and i'll catch you guys later